Hi everyone, it's great to have you here with me today. So thank you so much for joining me. I've got some pre-mixed paints by Pebio, and today I'm intending to create a Northern Lights creation. However, I want to do it over some stormy seas. So that's the intention that I'm setting, and I'm just having a play about with my pre-mixed paints. I'm going to use them to create the seas, and I'm also creating the Northern Lights effect. So let's kick off with creating the stormy seas, and I'm just going to use a black and a silver to do that. It's going to be a nighttime effect, so there are no blues within the seas, because I just envisage when the northern lights are shining above, you can just see the dark seas below. I'm going to also add some texture in, and I'll come to that shortly so I can show you how I achieve that. But let me just use my palette knife and spread out the paint, the black and the silver, across the canvas. So I've got my base down for the seas, and I'm going to come back to that shortly. But let me now just prepare the sky. I'm using black because it's a nighttime effect. And then I'm going to use each one of those colours one by one and place some of those colours within the sky area. I'm then going to take my palette knife again and spread out the paint, but in a completely different direction. You'll see with the seas, I moved from left to right. And with the sky, I'm literally gonna go from the direction of up and down. So by doing two different kind of ways, I'm creating a different movement effect on the piece. So as I said, I'm gonna take one color at a time, spread that on my canvas, and then use my palette knife. So there is enough paint on my canvas. By using my palette knife, I will be spreading some of that paint across the areas that aren't yet covered. So don't worry about using too much because there will be enough volume of paint on your canvas. So all I'm doing is I'm taking my palette knife, connecting the palette knife with the paint, applying just a gentle pressure, not too hard. And I'm literally going from the bottom so where the sea meets the sky, right to the top of the sky where you can see your nearest edge. I'm just going to repeat that process all the way along so I cover that sky area. So as you look at the screen, I'm actually doing the sky part now. I've already done the seas, which is the furthest part away from you. It's a little bit upside down, I suppose. That's where I've got my camera. But it's good because you can see the detail when I press down on my palette knife and all those colours merge together. Once I've got all my paint down and spread out across the canvas, I'm then going to use various tools to create some texture. So, can you guess what I'm going to use? One of the tools I use is a regular tool that I always use when swiping. Yes, you've guessed it, toilet paper. So, I'm going to show you shortly how to create a little bit of texture. And then I'm going to use something else to create even more texture and movement within this piece. 
This part of the process is about getting down the foundations of the paint. You're creating the colour palette that you want on your canvas itself. And then you can use different tools to create different textures and different movement within a piece. So let me just finish off this sky area and then we'll go in and I'll show you the next stage of the process. So I've folded my toilet paper up. The width of the toilet paper isn't that big. And I'm literally just gonna go across the piece over the sky area and just go from top to bottom, bottom to top, and just create some lines across that paint. Also allowing some of those other colors that are underneath the top coat to shine through. I'm also going to repeat that for the sea area. I'm literally using the toilet paper to create some lines and allow the paint that's underneath to shine through. I'm really happy with the sky but I do feel that the sea needs a little bit more texture and almost some roughness to it. It's a stormy sea at night. So let me just show you some of the details. I'm happy with the sky area in terms of the colors that I've used and it's almost the glow of the Northern Lights. One day I hope to see them in real life and in person, but that's just the vision that I've got at the moment when I'm painting. So I'm now going to use a balloon. You'll see here, I'm just using a small balloon. So I'm using air to create a completely different texture on the sea area. I'm just gonna do some balloon dips now, all the way across the seas, and you'll see what kind of effect that has. I'm so happy with the texture the balloon is making on the paint. It definitely has more of a stormy seas feel. And I think the contrast against the Northern Light area that we've created just by using a swipe technique really sets this piece off. Two different textures, one for the sea and one for the sky.
Let me take you in now for a close up of the wet version. I've finished this piece now. I don't think I'm gonna add any more to it, but it really does captivate me in terms of the differences in the texture that we've used for the sky and the sea. It's almost like I'm at sea myself, looking at the sea, across the skies, and maybe even in the background, I can envisage a village or a city just, just kind of waiting there for that storm to pass. This is the dry version. It's dried beautifully. It didn't take too long to dry. I'll leave you with some of those details. And don't forget to check out the description box below because I add a lot more information in there about the paints and the brands that I use along with other information that you might find useful. And also, if you've not subscribed to my channel yet, please hit that subscribe button. It really does help me reach a wider audience and helps me grow my presence online as an artist on YouTube. So I really appreciate that. And it's free for you to do. So thank you in advance. I just wanna say a big thank you for all of your support. I really hope you enjoy the pieces that I'm creating and let me know in the comments below. So take care of yourself, have a great week ahead and I really do hope I get to see you again in the next video. See you soon, everyone. Bye.